not even sure. Hmm? I'm not sure for the year. Um, how many years for the year? I'm not sure. I don't keep up with them like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 I could definitely be doing years. more. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure how many I've done in total, but I could definitely be doing more. Getting good at it, then, huh? I don't know. I feel like I took a step back, and I'm getting back to it. It's one of those things like a roller coaster. Yeah, it, it really is. That's a, that's a good analogy. Cause, uh, well, it's just it's a strange market right now. Yeah, luckily I'm able to get them at some pretty good prices. It's just not you know, a big selection of them. But the ones I do get, I try to get them in good prices. You can get it all done and out of here by six months? Should be able to rehab maybe a month or so, finance it after two months. That's where you can really get hurt if you get bad runners, you know? Right. Yeah, luckily I've got a, a pretty good property manager. He's uh, Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's kept my tenants in there for a pretty, pretty good amount of time. No, that's great. That's that's very key. Not, not a lot of turnover. Right. That, that the turnover kills you because you got so much down there. Right, that's the main thing. So they're, they're in there at least two years with him. All right, what's going on, guys? I am walking through a brand new pickup now. Just finished getting all of my before pictures, before video, before walkthrough. So now I'm just going to go back through and just kind of talk about this one. This is one that I plan to keep as a rental property. So let's just go ahead and turn the camera. All right, zoom out some. So the lights are currently off. And you can see it's, it's a dated house. I think this one was built 1968. But we are going to do a full upgrade. Kitchen definitely needs to be upgraded. Laundry room, it looks like they had a rat issue at some point, which I could definitely smell something dead outside when I was walking in. So something that may have to get addressed. This one's a nice little three bed, one bath, three one. They got these old mounted TVs up here. And that is pretty much it. See, so yeah, I guess this one is a small one, 1100 square feet. And the plan for this one, which I'm proud of myself, I've got three rehabs that'll be going on at the same time. So, forcing myself to to grow, for some little bit of growth. This is one that I plan to go ahead and use a general contractor on. It's a crazy story, but the contractor, I was gonna manage all of my own subcontractors, but at the very last minute, when we got ready to start on the big project, the big project in Carrierville, my contractor told me last minute, uh, that he was sorry, but his boss, I guess some other company that he may have been working for, shipped him up to some other city in Tennessee to go and do some work. And this was maybe a couple days or so before we were ready to start the uh, the Carrierville project. So I've got a good friend of mine who is a contractor who runs a, a pretty successful business, rehab business and um, investing business here in Memphis where he does a bunch of rehabs, resales and all that for investors as turnkey properties. He's gonna come in, check this one out, the Carrierville property and one more that we are working on to manage all of those jobs. So honestly, probably something that I did need to do so I can kind of take myself out of just dealing with subcontractors, going back and forth to these houses all the time, uh, every, I don't know, few days or so, paying subcontractors and all that, I should be able to take myself out of that. So we're gonna see how it goes with him managing these projects. Go ahead and get them turned over, two fix and flips, and of course this one, which is a rental. Another thing about this one, I'm excited to get it because right up the street, and I think I may even do a playlist just in case you guys are new to the channel, 
to talk about a house where I really took my very first fairly big financial loss and mental hit. But long story short, I had a contractor come in that completely messed up the job and it took me a couple of months to just go back through, have to completely redo the house. But this house is within walking distance of that messed up project. But I feel like this one is a chance for me to get back into a neighborhood where I you know, kind of started to build out my buy and hold portfolio. So yeah, I like the neighborhood. I've been wanting to get back into this neighborhood for a while. So as soon as I saw the opportunity to get this one at a really good price, I jumped on it. Didn't think about you know doing a resale. It's one I want to keep. So I'm gonna keep it, build some good cash flow. Uh, the rent over here is really good. Should be a really good investment.